for this problem. Thanks, partner. <sighs> no problem. You just know this is gonna hurt, don't you? And a one, and a two, and a... Ah! How did you come to be in this sticky predicament anyway? I'll give you two guesses. Lick and leech. Those dough heads need to be taught a lesson. You mean along the same lines that got you into this mess in the first place? Such as tricking them into getting rabies shots? Ouch! It's nothing compared to what I have planned next. And what's that, maestro? Well, I really haven't thought of anything just yet, but I assure you, it'll be good. Because this time, it's personal. Ow! What are you doing? Just helping out. I'd rather you didn't. Ow. That hurt. But, Mom... But nothing, Missy. You know the rules. You broke your curfew. Uh, uh... <gasps> but this is completely unfair. Unfair or not, neither is really my concern. You're grounded, young lady, until further notice. Grounded? Ooh, looks like my big sister's been very, very naughty. I don't know how you put up with all her shenanigans, Mom. I really don't. Cram it, fungus toes! But you can't ground me! And why not? Uh, well, I... Uh, I have to... Uh, oh, uh, I know. I have activities to do for school. Hundreds, as a matter of fact. Nice try, dear. But you're still grounded. Come on, Mom. You know I get stir-crazy if I can't leave the house for more than 30 minutes. Too bad, but that's the way it has to be. <gasps> this sucks. Hmm, boiling molten lead. Nah, too retro. Yeah, sure, Mush. I'll take the extra anchovies and onions. Sounds good. Or a giant vat and three pygmies. <gasps> Who's on the phone? Ooh. Gotta go, or we'll die. How can I chat online if you two morons are tying up the phone line? Hello? Jeez. Yeah, show a little pity, Danny. Now that Jen is a prisoner in her own home, yakking to her brainless friends is the only pleasure she's got left. What would you know about it, freakoid? You don't have any friends. What would I know about it? I've been grounded more times than a second-hand toaster. The difference between you and me is that there isn't a grounding that can hold me the world's greatest prankster, for more than five minutes. Oh, and you think I'm going to take my grounding line down? Of course. Unlike yours truly, you don't have the initiative and cunning to get out of it. Oh, ah! yeah. Uh, yeah. I bet you I can get out of the house before my grounding is up. And if you do? You get to do my laundry for a month. <laughs> Ugh. Your laundry. What's the matter, worm breath? Having second thoughts? No way. I'll take that bet. But if I win, you do my laundry for a month. That shouldn't be too much work since you only change your underwear once a week. Uh -huh. Your sister is scary sometimes. Maybe. But something she said has given me an idea. <laughs> I finally have a plan to get back at Lick and Leech. A cunning plan? 
Oh, yes. A cunning plan indeed. Ooh, still a little rashy. <laughs> Got some quarters, Danny? Uh, here you go, Prankmeister. But why are we using this phone? I mean, beside the fact that your devil sister will eat my head off if she catches me on your phone again. This is elementary stuff, Watson. No call display. That's the golden rule of prank calls, my friend. Now stand back, Danny, and be amazed at the depths of stupidity. Andrew Leach, come on down, you brain-dead numbskull. Hello? You're not gonna believe it, Andrew Leach, but you've just won tickets to see Hot and Jammer. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my, you know, gosh! What a maroon. <laughs> but you need to answer a skill-testing question, my friend. <laughs> yeah, sure. I repeat, what is your email address? My email address, eh? Oh, yeah, it's lickityleach at gackle.ca. Oh, no, I'm so sorry, but that's the wrong answer. Good luck next time. I really thought that was, you know, my email. <laughs> that's like beating dead fish in winter. Cold, partner, real cold. It's not my fault he's as thick as a pile of wet concrete. One down, one to go. Peter Lick? Peter Lick, this is your lucky day. We're about to give Lick and Leech exactly what they deserve. Each other. <clears throat> Your eyes are like pools of dewy drops of moistened water upon a rose. Ooh, man. Could you remind me of your master plan before I puke? Using my magma mail, we send these two dummies separate messages confessing an unrequited love from a secret admirer, right? Right. I don't get it. All we have to do is get the ball rolling. Then, after those buffoons get all hot and heavy, they themselves take it from there. Oh. Just think of it. Lick and Leech will think that they're corresponding with some hot babes, when in fact they're talking to each other. Their heads will explode when they find out, which they will, but all in good time. Gotcha. But first, we need a sweet-sounding name. A nom de plume, as it were. Sign the emails, Monkey Bear. I think that covers it. Sounds saccharine enough to me. The monkey has risen, sir. Excellent. Let's roll. <laughs> Where are you off to? to stand for a biology exam. I mean, that's okay, right? Like, it's for school? Hmm, I suppose it's all right. Cool. Bye, Mom. <gasps> Hi, Jen. Andy told me you wanted to see me. Isn't that great? Terry's here. Now you can study upstairs in your own room. I couldn't believe it. She sounded so hot. So did mine. A 10 on the, you know, Richter. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder which one of these babes has eyes for moi. Yeah, they must be from school. Mine's probably checking out this, you know, killer bod right now. It's you, isn't it? I always knew you thought I was hot. Hmm. Papa Bear's just, you know, itching for his sweet monkey bear. Mm. <laughs> Playing, you know, hard to get. I understand, sweetie. 
Yo, baby! Wait up a sec! Yeah, we want to, you know, ask you something. When a plan comes together like this, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <clears throat> but enough about that. We still have some work to do. I know you're close, monkey bear. I can smell you. Ah! After all these years, a hot babe, you know, what's me? It was just a matter of time, my friend. You couldn't keep us a, you know, secret forever. Huh. I bet my babe's hotter than yours. No way! Afraid so, Joe. Mine's hotter! No! Mine's naughty! You were right. They are getting hot and heavy. It's time to set those two up on a date with their mystery girls. <laughs> Somewhere? I, uh, I have to go to the store to pick up some magazines for a class project. Hmm. Well, all right then, if it's for a class project. Yes! Hi, Jay! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's gonna stain. Andy called and said you needed some magazines. Oh, I hate my life. I think those two should meet in a dark place. I think those two are already in a dark place. I mean, like a cinema. Brilliant. Okay, write some juicy hot stuff to those two bulkheads. But this time, we kick it up a notch or two. Your manly forearms. Um, oh, sweet smell of perspiration. Pouty lips. And include the one plex tomorrow night, aisle six, seats three and five, respectively. Gotcha. Ooh, you're still the best. Was there ever any doubt? We've located a fresh signal, sir. I'm triangulating now. Your counterfeiting, cheating, manipulating days are soon to come to an abrupt end, my little monkey bear. We will meet soon, I think. Lost the signal, sir. Ah! Fucking water! What's this? A date! Tomorrow night! This is my first date ever! What do I wear? Hmm? Uh, 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 uh. Hmm? How do you do that? Years of practice with your brother. So? Dad asked me to pick him up some chocolate at the corner store. He's allergic to chocolate. I... I mean some chewing gum. He hates gum. It sticks to his dentures. Uh, I meant to say the newspaper. It was delivered this morning. Mom, my arms are getting tired. Boo-hoo! What do you know? Clothes do make the cockroach. Perennials are the sure way to a woman's heart. I thought that was, you know, roses. Are you hearing this? Smell the bouquet. <laughs> Very nice. Taggy, yet, you know, gentle. I don't know about you, but this is going far better than I planned. The bouquet is like all, you know, in the nose. <laughs> Am I seeing this right? This is definitely going into my Hall of Pranks book, and these pictures are definitely going to be posted on the web. Nice touch. Come on, we better hoof it. We still have a little preparation to take care of for tonight's rendezvous, n'est-ce pas? It's been hours since we... Uh, heard anything from uh, Monkey Bear, sir. Patience! Monkey Bear is out there somewhere. I know, it's just that I have to, uh, you know, I, I have to go. Not yet, you don't. We're not finished until I say we're finished. Cross your legs and keep looking, rookie. I'm coming for you, Monkey Bear. And I swear, nothing's gonna stand in my way. Nothing! 
you had that fixed! Sorry, sir. Ooh, I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> I think I see one of our special guests now. Get ready. Yes, sir. Get a load of him. <laughs> He looks like a peacock out on parade. Aisle six, seat five, right next to Lick in seat three. <laughs> Got the camera? Right here. How about a kiss, monkey bear? Mm. Uh, priceless! <laughs> you know, <laughs> What's going on? This ain't good. You! <laughs> Hi, guys. Shoulda known you'd be behind this. Nothing ever goes 100% to plan. You're dead, Larkin. D-E-D -E -D, dead! Time to book, Danny boy. Roger that. <laughs> Stupid notebook crashing when I need it most. Guess I'm just gonna have to use my weirdo brother's computer to finish my online shopping. What's this? Monkey bear? A date at the cinema? Andy's got a date? Tonight? <laughs> hmm, this is just too good to pass up. Dear Monkey Bear. Monkey Bear is active, sir. We have a fix. Monkey Bear is just around the corner. I have you now, Monkey Bear. Let's go, 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 go! It's time you boys got some learning into ya. Mommy. Wait, I've got pictures of all this. You wouldn't want these to get out, would you? What's a dead man gonna do with uh -huh. pictures? Ah. Yeah, dead, you know, man. Oh. Well, that could have gone a lot better. <laughs> You win some, you lose some. By my calculations, you've lost so much, you owe. Yeah, not only did they take our dignity, they took our camera. Well, there goes our lick and leech lovey-dovey website. <laughs> Looks like they're headed to your house. It does, doesn't it? Do you have a secret admirer with a passion for pansies you've been holding back on? Come on, let's check this out. What's going on? Your sister here thought she could cheat and steal from the government of Canada. Right, monkey bear? Steal? Monkey bear? We've had our eyes on her ever since she flooded the National Bank of Uzbekistan with counterfeit Canadian dollar coins. Counterfeit Canadian dollar coins? What are you talking about? I thought they were uncounterfeitable. Besides, who'd want to? Did you have anything to do with this? No, no, I didn't, I swear. And for once, it's true. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, Andy, I hate to say this, but you stink something fierce. You'd better go take a shower. Your father and I are off to Calgary to clear this mess up. I feel kind of strange, Danny. Why's that? You have something stuck in your ear? I can't believe my good luck. I think you spent too long in that dumpster. You're talking garbage. Listen, first I prank Lick and Leech, and then I add Jen to the list without even planning it. <laughs> you know, the best pranks, I mean the absolute pinnacle of pranks, just fall into place like magic. Like a gift from the gods of prankdom themselves. Talk about serendipity. You've got a point. <laughs> Ugh, 
I'm off to get disinfected before I start sprouting stuff. Wow, Jen, who'd have guessed that you were a secret Uzbekistani counterfeiter? Eh, that's life. Hey, you don't seem to be too upset about all of this. That's because, dear brother, I'm not. How come? Because I'm finally out of the house two <laughs> days before my grounding officially ends. Remember to separate the whites and the colors! And you'll find my dainties in the basket in my room! Yeah. <laughs>